Over here we have our Pelican case. And oh. Two more coolers that were donated to the project. Any overflow ice. Just pack it and cover it with something. Yeah. Well, knowing the weather here, it'll rain for a little bit and then it'll stop raining. Let's get some more coolers. Rock and roll. I actually like that. And it's always in the back of the truck, even with the lid, just kind of askew, right like that, peeking up out of the corner. Okay. That's so so gotta be it. Someone Take probably it. left the cooler for us. Okay. Yeah, probably. Man, that's rough. Yeah. Okay, the right side sounds like it's up. Hey. Morning. Hey, how are you? But it doesn't sound like the bad side is those are Dallas. Did you want to build ice with us, Dallas? Hey, Dallas. Did you want to build ice? I said my alarm came. I said I was Kind of. We're going to make big ice sculptures all throughout Pipeline Road. You want to come? Hell oh, yeah, got recruits from the bat house. That's tricky. Okay. Sure. Bye. What's wrong with the truck? I think it, it may have a leak in the gas tank or something because it's going down way faster than I thought it should be. And now Vilma just confirmed. She's like, she couldn't believe that it was empty. She's like, I just filled the thing up. I mean, just since we drove it, look how much it's changed. Yeah. Hmm. 7.30. 7.30, making good time. Making good time. So let's go get your music. All right, music. What about gas? That's right out of town? Yeah, it's it's closer to the city than it is to get involved. Yeah. Oh, really? OK. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, we uh, probably make it uh, fucking traffic, though. Got woken up this morning, <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, I'm I'm pretty excited. It sounds it sounds like it really interesting, and um, it's a little early for me. I went, what time do you normally like, get up? Uh, like one, maybe twelve thirty one ish. Man, we're about you know, a couple hours out from that. It's all good. It's like all the way to the white now. We made it. Oh, we're dipping below the white line now. Oh yeah, we're, we're below the white. <laughs> yeah, let me get out this of here. This is after filling up the tank all the way full, brimming with gasoline. So we, need to make, we need to make like a mini gas gauge that goes yeah. in there. <laughs> <laughs> we're back. Now we're headed to the Tienda to go finally load up with the ice. I think we can get around them. So there's weird little cones. cones. Yeah. I don't know what kind of creature died in this cooler. Uh, got it. The AC safe. The AC is waving. All right. With uh, I woke up like five minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just toss a bunch of ice in there. Oh man, we got a truckload of ice. I was gonna maybe meet up later, but maybe it makes sense for me to just like watch yeah. the first Yeah. Thing. yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm Casey. I study trees. I woke up and then people were outside my house buying ice. So then I decided to tag along. It was yesterday that the capuchins go crazy for ice. So maybe we'll attract some monkeys. <laughs> that would be so awesome. We came upon like going back to check one of them and there was just like a troop of capuchins yeah. partying. Fresh, there was like a 
tree that fell down. And uh, now we're gonna set up the first ice installation up at the very front of the gate to let people know they're entering the zone of the work. Okay, let's see how much, how much ice one of these circles made. Five, six, like seven. Should put this one on? Is it already cut? Yeah, okay, then we'll do eight. Eight bags for a big ring. Okay, so things we want to do, we want to get a cecropia surrounded. <laughs> we want to get a, a leaf cutter nest trail, a ring going straight through that, see what happens. Mm. Um, and then who knows what else. Three glass, and then that's the third one. So we're hunting down a cecropia tree to surround with ice. This will be our first one that's directly for the animals and uh, not as much for the people. The cecropia trees and the ants that live inside them are what Peter here studies. And so he wants to see what happens when they're exposed to this weird new stimulus of being really cold. Ice knife. on the ice aren't, aren't moving too fast. Still biting? Mm -hmm. The tree's cool though. Feel it. Yeah, this one just sitting right there. Dallas, I'll set up guarding all the ice. See this? This is garbage refuse that the colony doesn't eat, stuff that the fungus doesn't process, and so it throws this stuff out the garbage pile here. Other ad colonies have special chambers deep underground that they toss their garbage into. These guys don't even mess with it, toss it out. And the cool thing is they make their older workers do the dirty work. So these workers here that are carrying out the garbage, they're all workers at the end of their lives. So if they get a disease from the garbage that they're carrying, then they wouldn't have been much worth to the colony anyway since they've already put in all their life's work, cutting leaves or tending brood or whatever they're doing. Position the ice oops, and, loop and then connect at the very end. Oh, you're slipping on the ice, you see that? Yeah, some are brave enough to start climbing over it and then they just slip off. Oh, poor Dallas, I didn't leave him with the rain cover. Oh shit. I'll figure out what's in the camera. Nice little rain tarp you rigged up. We got the front gate. Maybe ring around there, let people know what's going on. We got this cecropia tree, double ring. Seeing how it affects the ants. They seem to sustain their anger pretty well. 
pretty melting very slowly. Very slowly melting over here. The gate one is pretty much all gone. And then we also did one mini circle around a leaf cutter trail. And it totally stopped up all the leaf cutters and they dropped all their leaves and are really confused. No confusion yet. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. The alarm pheromone depends on the concentration. So one at a certain concentration, it's a repellent. The more you go away, and at a higher concentration, it's an attractant. Is it raining? <laughs> Do you know what else they think? Look, they turn back. Yeah, they're going all the way back in. Fresh leaves. Way too cold for that. <laughs> not what I expected at all. I was talking to Dee and he was pretty much saying, oh, it's not this guy. Like, I think he was impressed too. I just didn't expect, for one, the reaction of the ants to the ice. I didn't think it would be that severe for one. I'm sure they've never encountered ice before in their life, so they're not sure how to react. So that may have been 
why their reaction to the ice, the Azteca ants, was so extreme and it was so prolonged. There's this thin layer just around the tree of the ice that has melted away. So it's almost like, you know, there's an invisible sheet surrounding the tree. And in, inside that sheet, there's a bunch of ants that have ventured down in there and have gotten so cold that they can't move anymore. And they have a bunch of frost on them. And then other ants come down and actually start jiggling them and start pulling them up to the warmer air and start reviving them, which has been really neat, something I totally didn't expect. A lot of unexpected things happened. We jumped a lot of hurdles to make it happen. Not too many. But overall, I thought it was pretty beautiful. Because not only is it sort of a weird, kind of cool aesthetic thing, but you get to see these really cool behaviors where you're interacting with these ants and stuff that, in ways that I never even really thought about before. I never thought about using ice in my research before, but we came up with a lot of really cool ideas and saw a lot of really neat behaviors today.